Hello everyone. Today's lesson is lesson 29. Multiplying fractions and reducing fractions by dividing by common factors. So here this is asking what fraction is one half of three fourths. Important, an important thing to remember is that the word of means times. So this is asking us what is one half times three fourths. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and the denominators. Okay, so one times three is three, and two times four is eight. So one half times three fourths equals three eighths. So here I have three fourths times two thirds. So remember, we multiply straight across. 3 times 2 is 6, and 4 times 3 is 12. Now, this fraction can be reduced down to 1 half. Okay. When we reduce fractions, one way we can do it is by multiplying by a common factor. So in this case, I know that I can divide both 6 and 12 by the number 6. And that's how I got 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. We'll keep practicing throughout the lesson. On this one, it asks us to multiply 4 times 2 thirds. Now the number 4 is a whole number, and I can change any whole number into a fraction by putting it over the number 1. So 4 over 1 times 2 thirds. And then I multiply like normal. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 3 is 3. So my answer is 8 thirds. Now remember, we don't like improper fractions, so I need to change this to a mixed number. And we do that by dividing 8 divided by 3. 3 goes into 8 two times. 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract. 8 minus 6 is 2. So my mixed number is 2 and 2 thirds is the answer. This problem says three pennies are placed side by side as shown below. The diameter of one penny is 3 fourths of an inch. How long is the row of pennies? I'm going to find this by taking 3 fourths and multiplying it by the 3 pennies. Now remember, to turn the number 3 into a fraction, I'm going to put it over the number 1. Okay. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 1 is 4. To make this a mixed number, I'm going to take 9 and divide it by 4. 4 goes into 9 two times, 4 times 2 is 8, subtract, 1 left over, so it's four or 2 and 1 fourth of an inch is my answer. Okay, so we're going to practice reducing fractions now. Now I can reduce fractions, like I said before, by dividing by a common factor, and we can do it quickly if we divide by the greatest common factor. So I'm going to show you the two ways we can do this one. So we have 8 twelfths. Well, the first way is I know both of these numbers are even. So I can divide both these numbers by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. I look at this fraction and look to see, can I divide it again? Yes. Both of these numbers are still even, which means I can divide them both by 2 again. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. I then look to see, are there any common factors with 2 and 3? Well, the only one there is is the number 1, and dividing by a, the number 1 doesn't change anything. So this is as much as I can reduce 8 halves to, or 8 twelfths. So 8 twelfths is the same as 2 thirds. Now if I know the greatest common factor, I know both 
8 and 12 can be divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So I got the same answer both ways, but this was definitely quicker. Here I'm going to go ahead and multiply these two numbers and then I'm going to reduce them. So I have 2 times 5 twelfths. Again, to make the number 2 a fraction, I put it over the number 1. 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 12 is 12. So it's 10 twelfths. To reduce it, I need to think of what is the common factor. Since they're both even, I can divide both these numbers by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 2, uh, 5 I mean. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. There is no other factor, common factor, between 5 and 6, so that's as far as I can reduce it. We can also reduce ratios. So this problem says, if there are 8 boys and 12 girls, what is the ratio of boys to girls? Okay, so I have my fraction. It goes boys to girls. So I have 8 boys and 12 girls. I'm going to go ahead and reduce that. Dividing both these numbers by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. Now let's see what would happen if I changed it to be the ratio of girls to boys. Okay, so in this case the girls would be on top with 12 and then 8 boys. With ratios you do not change this to a mixed number, but you do always reduce. So we would reduce this down to 3 halves, and we'd keep it at this answer. Do not change it to a mixed number, because this is a ratio. Ratios have to stay as improper fractions. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.